The 15.75 inch rear mounted fan is among the T50's most fascinating features. The piece spins at up to 7000 RPM and runs on a 48 volt electric motor. It works with the active rear spoilers and diffusers to increase downforce by 50% in normal driving or by 100% in its braking mode. The system also functions as a ram air induction for the engine to increase the power plant's output by around 49 horsepower. So this is the business end. It's dominated by one, one component, isn't it? And it, it, is this harking back to the, the old fan car, the old Formula One Brabham fan Well, I, su I suppose you could say in looks it is, but really um, the functionality is completely different. This is much more sophisticated. The fan car was a blunt instrument, it really was. It was, it, it was a vacuum cleaner, you know. It had skirts around the outside and a great big fan just sucking it to the ground and that was it. So um, this is much more sophisticated. So this is much more about boundary layer control where we've got massive diffusers. Um, as you can see. Yeah, I can see a drive shaft. <laughs> yes, I mean, they are really are huge. <laughs> and normally the air wouldn't follow anything so violent in its shape, if you like. Um, but we remove uh, the dirty air, the boundary layer, and, and we force the air to uh, follow that diffuser shape. But actually, it's even more than that. There's six different functions. And uh, when we don't need downforce, we can dump downforce and drag too. For me, the most funky uh, one is what we call streamline. So when the driver selects that, uh, the foils drop, reducing the uh, flow behind the car. The fan fires up to maximum speed. We create a virtual long tail car with the air and we stall the diffusers and dump downfall. So that reduces drag by about 12.5%, so settles the car down, basically. Wish I had that in my racing car. That would have, been, that would have come in quite handy. We actually have one aero mode um, where we fire the fan up, open the diffuser ducts, and flip up the spoilers and we double the downforce on the car uh, under braking. So that's, that's a safety feature as well, but can you imagine getting suddenly getting double the downforce on the car under braking? That could definitely come in handy. Yeah. That's it's quite, quite incredible.